in today's video, we are going to be breaking down our top five sets for success for the West Coast playbook in Madden NFL 20. What's up guys, my name is Cody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel exists to give you Madden 21 tips and tricks that are going to be helpful to you and help you win more games in Madden. If that's something that interests you and you're new, I just want to say welcome to the channel. And I'm just highlighting here my channel Discord. As you can see here, we've got a lot of really good features in our Discord. We've got the lounge. We've got tips, tricks, strategies. We also have lab sessions here that you can get on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So if you are looking to stay up to date with the latest and greatest information about my content for Madden NFL 20 and Madden NFL 21, I want to encourage you to join our discord you can click the link in the description of this video let's get into the video but let's go ahead and jump into this we are talking about the shotgun bunch offense west coast playbook this is a five sets for success scheme so here's what you need to know the gun bunch has been one of the best offenses for years in madden years it seems like madden keeps trying to nerf the gun bunch and people just keep running the gun bunch because it is so, so, so effective. And so tonight what we're going to do is we're going to give you the base play. Again, we're talking about five sets for success. And the first set is a base play, a base formation. And for me, that is going to be the gun bunch every day of the week because of how effective it really, truly is at beating pretty much anything the defense can throw your way from a passing perspective. It's one of the best in my opinion, best, best, best offenses of all time in Madden. Just does so much for your offense. So let's jump into this breakdown. So shotgun bunch, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set the following as your audible. You're going to want to set wide receiver post. You're going to want to set um, the play deep corner as an audible. And then corner, this one, last one is kind of a flex audible. The play that I like to select uh, is the play uh, deep attack, but you can pick whatever you want. You can do mesh post. You could do corner strike. You can do stick. You know, if you're if they're running a lot of man, if you're facing a man team, I would recommend run, running the play stick. If you're facing more of a zone team, I'd recommend the play corner strike. Um, and then if you're like me and you like to throw post routes, I go with deep attack, but that's just my personal preference. Now, from a roster standpoint, I'm using the Chiefs. Now, again, you can use whoever you want to, but I like to put my best wide receiver, my best, best wide receiver on the left side of the field. But for the Chiefs, because of the way that their kind of their kind of team is designed, I'm going to put Tyree Kill on the right side of the field. I'm going to then put McCole Hardman in the middle slot, and then I'm going to put Sammy Watkins on the left side. Now, again, um, for some of you, you might want to put Tyree Kill on the left, and there can be an argument either way with that. But um, you can do what you want, but that's just what I do with these guys. Now, the base play that I'm going to come out in every single time is either deep quarter, mesh post, corner strike, you know, any of those plays. And I'm going to talk about mesh post today as I think mesh post might have been one of the best plays that not very many people ran enough of in Madden 21. So mesh post, basically, it's a very, very simple setup. Uh, all you're going to do is you're going to take your tight end and you're going to put him on a delay fade. You do that by hitting triangle x flicking the right stick up he's going to be on a delay fade what i like to do is i like to do a little trick with the blocking on this i like to double team the farthest to the left guy and then on the right side i like to id whoever that might be that might be showing me pressure so from this look it's just going to be that defensive end at the snap of the ball what i'm going to do is i'm going to motion tyree kill out to the right and then i'm just going to read this just like good old-fashioned mesh post from the shotgun spread that we talk about in the competitor's guide snap of the ball and you're going to see here this right here is one of the best post or one of the best post routes in the game. You can pretty much throw it against almost any uh, defense. And again, you if you want to leave Kelsey on a route, you can. I just think for better pass protection, it's going to benefit you to leave him in that slot right there. But again, get him out there. Get him out there wide, and you'll see right in here, you're going to be good to go. Now, again, with Travis Kelsey doing kind of what he's doing with that little delay right there, one of the things you can also do is you can do a little block and release flat play. And, again, um, that's going to help him just kind of make sure that he's staying in protection against pressure and not going out messing up the interference of the routes here. But there you see. You see how that 
they don't really animate against that play out of cover two. They really don't do anything. And that play, honestly, is very, very consistently one of the best uh, routes in Madden year in and year out. You also have these little drags, right? Mesh is good for a reason. Don't spin against an enforcer like I just did there. But Mesh is good for a reason. It's the best play in the game every single year, in my opinion. Every single year I've been playing Madden anyway. Mesh, some type of mesh concept has really taken... Um, the, the throne as being one of the better plays in the game and as you can see here no differently you get those two underneath crossing routes they're going to do a good job at beating pretty much every defense in the entire game that you're going to face and what's awesome about how this works is this little route to Tyree Kill if you get it out there enough it's going to be kind of coming right there underneath and again, if they if that that middle linebacker is kind of mimicking the user, right? If the user goes to the post route, then you'll take the underneath route as well. So again, get him out there. And then I love these little check down mesh routes. Now, some people like to turn this into a max protect scheme, and I don't like to do that personally. I like to just send five out and uh, and try to dot. One of the things you have also with this mesh post is if you could throw that little catch and run route right there, you can do that truck animation with Travis Kelsey get up field just get a couple of key yards setup number two and this is mesh post but it's just simply mesh post to the right or kind of a similar version of this but now we have the post route coming from the left side you see it's a similar kind of post route to the mesh post but it's coming to the left so the only setup that I'm gonna do here with this is I'm gonna take Williams and I'm gonna keep him on that wheel route and then I'm gonna take Terry kill and I'm gonna put him on a crossing route just a simple drag route and McCole Hardman is going to go on a simple streak. I'm going to motion Tyreek Hill out, Tyree Kill out again. And now you're going to see that route to Sammy Watkins is going to do a good job at beating cover two, cover three, you know, really anything. Like I said, I've thrown this against pretty much every kind of coverage you can think of. And they really do have to use her this route. What's beautiful about how this works together is because they have to use her either the right side post or the left side post, it's hard for them to identify what they're going to do. You see, you get that diving animation on the left. You get that diving animation on the right. What's up, Darren? How's it going, man? Good to hear from you. So that's deep attack in a nutshell. You see how they kind of go back and forth. You got to post right. You got to post left. And you're going to be able to beat pretty much every defense in the game. I just ran against cover four. Let me show you this against cover three. So you see here against cover three, you're still going to be able to check that, check that ball into uh, Sammy Watkins there on that on that little um, on that little post route now not very many people that i know are going to run a lot of cover three against bunch because bunch is really designed to beat cover three for a variety of different reasons as you can see there that post route is very very consistent now what's also good about this is off of this you can run something like the play deep corner now deep corner is a cover three and cover four killer i mean absolute killer so all you want to do at the snap of the ball, at least what I like to do the most, is I'm going to take Travis Kelsey, or I'm going to take uh, Travis Kelsey right here, and typically he's either going to block, or I'm going to put him on a uh, simple block and release flat route, and then do some pass protection setups, just like we did from the last video. But you're going to see here if the defense tries to go to some type of cover four, you can roll out with your quarterback, and you'll be able to hit that post route to Tyree Kill uh, over the top most of the time against a cover four drop style of defense because of the way the in route the in route from the from the play does just such a really good job and looks like i accidentally ran mesh post but you'll see here if i go to cover four drop then what's going to happen is the play deep corner and snap of the ball you should see tyree kill should beat cover four over top so it gets over top, hard left pass lead, and it's a possession catch. Very simple, very easy, very consistent. What's up, Sammy? Good to see you, bro. Now, deep corner, you can also run it to the right, you know, so you can do rollout corners. A snap of the ball, you get this double team out here, and you're going to see if I get out of the pocket right here, I'm typically going to be able to hit Tyree Kill against pretty much any defense that they run. That just happened to be cover two, but if they run cover four, you're going to see here, or cover three specifically, but um, if they run cover four, you know, they're going to have a lot of, a little bit of a challenge stopping uh, this route, especially when I get out of the pocket. I'm able to uh, get that get that ball out there against, you know, cover two, cover three. Thank you, Rams. I appreciate that, bro. 
So from there, what they're what you're going to see a lot in the bunch is you're going to see a lot of cover too. Well, that's where this play right here, verticals, comes in. And verticals can be ran in a variety of different ways. What's beautiful is you've got this route to Williams, which is a very simple little crossing route or a little underneath check down. You have this wheel route to Tyreek Hill, and it will do a good job against cover two. And pretty much all I'm going to do to this play is I'm going to take Travis Kelsey. I'm going to put him on a streak. And then Sammy Watkins, I normally will just put him on a straight streak or I will refade him just to get a better uh, release. Same motion out. You're going to motion Tyreek Hill out to the right, and you're going to see when he gets upfield, he's going to get over the cloud, and it's a nice little one-play touchdown against cover two. It's also, just so happens, it's also a, a very good read and a very good route against uh, Tampa 2 or cover 2 man. So we'll show you this against cover 2 man. Again, that's why you want to have a speedster, two speedsters at your slot. It's which makes the Chiefs just such a really, really, really good team to run this with. Motion Tyreek Hill out. You get into the sideline, snap of the ball. He's going to get him. And because you have that deep vertical from Travis Kelsey, it's probably the best, 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 best cover 2 killer because it's such and honestly it's probably one of the better ways to run for verticals so to me if you're getting a lot of tampa 2 run something like this right here and this right here is just going to kill it because of the motion because of the positioning of the players because of the fact that the defense can't really adjust to it from a tampa 2 perspective and then what they're going to have to do is they're going to start having to run cover three and cover four which is going to then open up our deep corner passing concept now deep corner can be ran in a variety of different ways one of the ways that i like to run it is my max protecting i'm going to take tyree kill and just put him on a simple streak and what's going to happen is they're going to go into like a cover three and what you're going to see happen here is you can pass lead that ball that streak ball to the right and it's going to be a one play touchdown against cover three that's why i said in the beginning you know, most people aren't going to run a lot of cover three against you, especially if you're in gun bunch. Because if you run deep corner, like I just ran deep corner, where you just take Tyreek Hill, put him on a simple streak. That's all you got to do. You still have that dig route on the backside for your check down. But if they run cover three, and this is cover three cloud flat. I'll show you right here. Cover three cloud flat, shade coverage over top. And you'll see here, I can pass lead that po that streak to the right because Mahomes such, such, has such a powerful uh, pass lead you're able to do that now what's awesome is sammy is right in the chat um what's going to happen is as the defense starts to adjust to that what you're probably going to see is you're probably going to see a lot of cover four drop with the shade coverage techniques so you see cover four drop what's going to happen is this deep dig route to sammy Watkins is going to get over the linebackers you see the linebackers don't react to the ball so what that's going to mean for you and your offense is you're going to be able to pretty much very consistently um hit this simple in route against pretty much every defense in the game as you see there you get that nice diving catch animation especially on bullet bulleted throws and so you saw skimbo do this a lot right like i broke this play down at nauseum in skimbo's film study analysis i mean this was his favorite 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 play because if they run cover four drop then you're going to be able to hit um you're going to be able to hit hit the um, you're going to be able to hit the corner route whoops so that is a little bit about gun bunch we're going to talk about it in more in just one second here let me come back out in it and again the play you want to come out in every time is mesh post and let's see here let's go to dime two three six and let's come out in tampa two all right so now what the defense is going to start doing once you start kind of getting into the weeds of this a little bit is they're going to be kind of having to use the middle of the field and so if you have especially because deep corner stretches you this route combination right here to Tyree Kill, McCole Harmon and Sammy Watkins probably one of the best route combinations of Madden 20 and if you wanted to you could just take Travis Kelsey and put him on a dig route or whatever but by blocking him you're going to get an extra extra time in the pocket and you see how that route to Sammy Watkins is going to be consistent. It's going to get over pretty much everything that the defense is going to do to you. So you've got that. Now, the next play that I want to talk about is wide receiver post. Now, again, this is a very simple play. And I have a couple of different ways that I like to run it, to be honest with you. Um, one of the things that I like to do is I like to take... This is a Tampa 2 killer. This is a, I mean, pretty much any kind of coverage defense. 
that deep, deep post route to Sammy Watkins, you see how it's kind of angled. It's more of a skinny post. What's going to happen is he's going to get in very tender spots against safeties. And so how you kind of leverage that route for the betterment of your offense, what I like to do with this specific play is I like to take McCole Hardman and place him on a 10 to 5 yard out route or a corner route. If you have a route apprentice, you'd want to put him on a corner route. But you're going to see what happens to the deep safeties is it spreads them out and it opens up that window to be able to throw that Sammy Watkins route. Now, what most people are going to do against something like this is they're going to go to a cover four drop. But wide receiver post, again, has very similar prin principles to some of the other routes that we've been talking about. And you'll see here he's going to get over the top of that cover four safety, and you're going to be able to uh, get a nice one-play score against cover four. So, again, you've got a one-play score against cover four to the left, one-play score against cover four to the right, and then also with Tampa 2, let me show you here. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to take their linebacker and they're going to have to throw him into a deep third zone. The problem is that the deep third zone, when you start running uh, deep attack, you're not going to be able to stop that post route. Whoops. You're not going to be able to stop that post route with that deep third zone. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have a mid read or something a little bit more underneath. So we'll show you that here. Uh, again, that's the play deep attack. You're going to take the running back, put him on a wheel. McCole Harbin is going to be on a streak. Tyreek Hill is going to be on a drag. And then I like to leave Travis Kelsey on that little uh, hitch route. It's going to get really good space against zone. But you'll see right in here. For some reason, they're matching me out of, out of that Tampa 2 shell. And then one other thing I did want to talk about. So if they're giving you this, and you know you want to kind of leverage this carefully, but with mesh post, if they're giving you this out route right here to Sammy Watkins, you want to take a smart route him, put him on an out route. And with the tight end, you're going to go ahead, and you could take him and you could put him on a drag, and then you could take R1 and put him on a little hitch. And now you see here this route combination is pretty lethal, and you're going to be able to hit that route right there. So... That is pretty much the basics of this formation. Um, a lot of different things that you can do. What I don't see people doing enough this year, I don't see people running verticals enough against Tampa 2. To me, if you've got a good receiver, what's up, Marcus? If you have a good receiver, you're going to be able to do that. So that is kind of phase one of the gun bunch scheme. And if you guys come back tomorrow, we'll talk about kind of the next layer of it. Again, five sets for success scheme. So the first set for success, and that's what we broke down tonight, is we broke down the uh, base play. Tomorrow, what we're going to do is we're going to break down uh, a pretty unique under center three-headed rushing attack that you can use from the um, from the pro sets and really leveraging kind of the under center uh, for for the betterment of of your offense so you'll want to check that out again what's beautiful about the gun bunch is you just have answers against everything that they're going to do you can max protect you can turn it into a simple you know spread set here you got a nice post route on the left you got a nice post route on the right it's just a really really good package to be able to move the ball effectively on offense so um, that's kind of phase one of the of the west coast and we're going to be moving into uh, some more breakdowns on that as we go ahead. Well, I hope that breakdown was helpful to you guys. Again, that is the base play out of the West Coast offense in our five sets for success. And real quick, I just wanted to highlight this right here. This is our Madden 20 and Madden 21 competitors guide. If you are looking to take your game to a whole nother level in Madden, I want to encourage you to pick up this competitors guide. You can click the link in the description below, and that's going to take you to this page right here. And you're going to be able to check out and check out that competitors guide. Again, it comes with a Madden 21, 100% update. So it's going to be good for Madden 20, but it's also going to be good for Madden 21. And if you just want to support me and you want to help me, uh, kind of be able to continue to make 
you guys free Madden videos. I want to encourage you to pick this up. This just shows a ton of support for me, and we've gotten a ton of great reviews. One of the guys said it's the best $25 he's ever spent. Again, you're going to get two guides in Madden 20 and two guides in Madden 21. So be sure to pick up that competitor's guide today. It's going to teach you all sorts of offensive and defensive tips and tricks and schemes that are going to help you win more games in Madden 20 and Madden 21. We'll see you guys in the next video. Check out one of these other videos if you want to continue the conversation. See you guys later.